Hey guys, Fun Tech Reviews here, back with another product to review today. Today we got the E-Color uh, LED light strip for your vehicle. Um, some features, it's dimming, music mode, 60 million colors, DIY scenes, app control, and remote control. On the back here, uh, just says about the manufacturer. Here's what it looks like when you put it in your vehicle or your car. So that's pretty much it for the box. Let's go ahead and take this out of the box and see what's inside. All right, so looks like we have our light strips here. Uh, very similar build to the TV light strip. We have our cigarette lighter plug with an on-off switch, it looks like. We'll set that aside as well. Let's see what else we got in here. Got some zip ties to kind of tidy up the wiring. Got another remote, very similar to the LED light strip remote. So we've got some clips to kind of hold the uh, light strip in place so you can screw them in. What else do we got in the box here? All right, so that's pretty much it for what's inside the box here. Um, so we got our LED strips, our power device, our clips, our zip ties, and our remote. So let's see. This is about four feet long. And it looks like there's plenty of breaks in between the wires here, so you can kind of spread it out. So let's get this out of here. Two hours later. All right, so as you can see, this does have 3M sticky tape on the back, and you can also um, more apply it out, and like underneath the seats or underneath the dashboard. There's plenty of extra cord here as well. Um, <clears throat> there's also these clips which you can use to secure it in place. Uh, usually these 3M sticks, sticky backs are pretty good about holding things in place. Uh, one thing uh, I do want to mention is I won't be putting this in my vehicle just because uh, my current vehicle currently has ambient lighting inside of there. Um, so I'm going to try to put it somewhere else, um, like either at my office or something like that. Not the intended purpose, but it's still LED strip. It'll still do the same thing. Um, so let's get this plugged in and show you what it's about. All right, so we got it plugged in, as you can see, very bright, uh, very similar design to the um, LED strips for the TV, however, these feel like a better quality for more waterproofing and stuff like that. We've got our simple remote, but I have one here from the LED light strip, so we'll just use that. So we can hit our power off on. We can do music mode, so it kind of talks with your voice. If we do a mode here, we can have it transition through different modes. Uh, our brightness, so we can turn it all the way down, turn it all the way up. We have a red, our green, and our blue. I personally like blue the best for me, but I also like the transitioning of it as well. You can also use your little color thing here to switch through all the colors. You can use your, your quick or slow. Use your play pause. You can use TV mode as well. Um, on this other remote, it's a TV mode. It just says auto. So what happens is it'll just automatically go through everything. And then you can also use the same app that I downloaded before with the LED light strip video. So I'll show you that. It's just LED, or excuse me, E Color Life. So we'll open up this app again. And it will go up here to add a device. As you can see, it's scanned nearby. You can see those strips there. We'll leave the name the same. As you can see, it connected right away. So again, we have our music section. Uh, pretty much the same setup for the LED strips for the TV. We have our colors. We have our scenes. One other thing, is that, one other thing that's cool is you can turn off certain sections if you want. Um, so that way if you just want certain ones lit up you can do that as well so if we turn off everything else except for C now it's just this strip here so if we turn everything else back on everything turns back on more of our scene lights down here of course our music again we can do slow or quick pretty much the same setup as LED light strips um, you can also adjust your timer your settings things like that you can adjust your brightness up here 
And then if we go back to our colors, so we can adjust the brightness 1% all the way up to 100. So once I figure out a place to install this, I'll kind of show you how the install process went. Otherwise, this video for now is just going to be a quick setup um, kind of instruction video. Uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.